in this video, we're going to look at completing the square. And we're going to do three examples of completing uh, the square with the quadratic equation. So as we go, I'll explain more about why we're doing it and, and what it all means graphically, but let's just uh, get straight into these examples. So for this first one, we can complete the square if we have a quadratic with three terms by first putting a bracket and then we take just the x here, which would be x, and we halve the number in front of the x here. So we halve negative 6, which would be negative 3, and we close the bracket and we put a squared sign. So that's the hard part done. I did a bracket, I took the first variable x, I halved the b value, the coefficient of x, and then put it into a bracket squared. Then we have our remaining, uh, remaining constant, so plus 2, and then the last step is we need to subtract the number inside the bracket squared. So if we square negative 3, that will be 9. So it's always a minus sign and then that number squared. So if we were to tidy this up, we're going to get x minus 3 squared and then minus 7. Now I'll briefly explain why we're doing this. It's because if we want to complete the square, we're turning a quadratic from its general form into its vertex form. This is the vertex form. And if it's in this form here, the vertex, which is another word for turning point, of this quadratic is just going to be the opposite number to negative 3. So it will be 3, comma, and then whatever the constant on the outside is, negative 7. This is our vertex of this quadratic. And graphically, if I were to sketch this, the vertex would be a 3, negative 7. It would look something like this, 3, negative 7. And, and the reason... The reason why this is useful is because in IB exam questions, they often give you a quadratic in the general form and they want you to sketch it and sketch where the vertex is. So we need to complete the square. Okay, I'll do the second example. So if we have y equals, we start with our bracket, we put x and we halve the 4, so plus 2, close bracket squared, and then we have our remaining constant, minus 1, and then always a minus sign, and it's the number inside the bracket squared. So 2 squared is 4. So we're going to have y equals x plus 2 squared minus 5. And therefore our vertex, our v for our vertex would be negative 2, comma, negative 5. Now before I do this last one, I think it's a good time to just, just understand what we're actually doing here with this completing the square step is we're actually creating a perfect square here. And x plus 2 squared is a perfect square, but x plus 2 squared, if I were to bring this out, x plus 2 squared, if we were to expand this, this is actually x plus 2, x plus 2, and we're going to get x squared plus 4x plus 4. Now notice that in our original equation here, we only had the x squared plus 4 this bit here. And I turned x squared plus 4 into this x plus 2 squared, but that actually has a positive 4 here. So I can't just add the 4 uh, to one side of the equation without actually balancing it with subtracting a 4. And that's what this last thing is here. When I, when I said in example 1 and 2, we need to subtract this term in here squared, it's because we're balancing the equation. We, we initially had this, we added the 4 to create a perfect square, but we need to subtract the 4 such that we didn't just add something to our equation. So that's actually what we're doing here. And in class, if you hear your teacher say, we're actually creating a perfect square, that is what we're doing. Okay, so this last example, this is a bit of a trickier one. If we have a value here in front of our x squared, which is not 1, it's, it's 2 for example, uh, we need to do a little bit of an extra step. So we have y equals, what we want to do is we want to factor out the 2, whatever this a value is, a, b, c, from the first two terms. So we're going to have 2 bracket x squared plus 4x, and then we have our remaining constant plus 7. And then we need to complete the square with this here. So if we wanted to create a perfect square, just like I explained in the previous uh, question, this would be x squared plus 4x plus 4. 
this would be a perfect square which we can put into a x plus 2 squared format. So if I've just added a 4 here, what this will actually mean is I've added a 8 because 2 will multiply by the 4. So when we have our plus 7, we need to subtract 8 because I've actually added 8 uh, by putting a 4 inside this bracket. So what we can hopefully see now is this x squared plus 4x plus 4 is a perfect square. It is just x plus 2 all squared. And then the positive 8 uh, was from here. And if we add that to the 7, we'll have negative 1. So this will be our answer. So it's slightly, it is the same as this, as the first two examples, but uh, hopefully uh, with the explanation of what a perfect square is, this now makes sense why we had to subtract the 8 because we added the 4 times 2 to create our perfect square. Now the vertex of that quadratic, this 2 does not affect the vertex, it just is a vertical stretch. So our quadratic vertex would still be negative 2 and negative 1. Okay, so that's three examples of completing the square. This is very common in IB exams. Nearly every single IB exam you will need to complete the square. So I highly suggest you practice a few questions using this technique. Okay, good luck.